The final review is going to be on the Walmart Retro Issue Transformers the Movie Autobot Cavalier Autobot Hot Rod. Stay tuned. Adam Spear here, and today we're going to review my favorite Transformer of all time, the Autobot Cavalier, known as Hot Rod. Now this is the Walmart Retro Issue Cartoon Accurate Hot Rod G1 figure. He is mostly pink instead of red, and they've got a few new paint schemes to make it look more like the animated movie, which we will go over once we get him out of the box. All right, first the, it looks like he's in the Autobot shuttle or Autobot control room of the Autobot shuttle. Uh, there he is in the car mode and robot mode. Of course, the four steps to transform him. There is the UPC. <clears throat> there is the side of the box, Transformers the movie logo, Autobot hot rod. <clears throat> plastic free packaging except tape and glue and on the back the universe is threatened by the greatest villain Cybertron has ever known the heroic Autobots must find a way to destroy this menace if they hope to save their home world till all are one <clears throat> and there's your tech specs uh, off function cavalier my actions speak louder than words hot rod is headstrong and self confident young Autobot in spite of this he's destined for greatness and to fight and to light the darkest hour. Very small writing. <clears throat> and then his tech specs. He got strength is a nine. Intelligence, nine and a half. <clears throat> uh, speed, like a nine. And firepower, ten. I don't know how you get that. <clears throat> and there is hot rod in both modes. <clears throat> now. I already cut the tape. Let's open this guy up and take a look at him. <clears throat> Even though I cut the tape, he is still strapped in. So, first take a look at the booklet. And look at that artwork. Whew, that is like 1986. <clears throat> Autobot Cavalier, Autobot Hot Rod. I guess all through the years, they've had a trouble uh, trademarking Hot Rod. He was... Uh, Hot Rodimus, Rodimus, but it looks like the only way to do it is to put Autobot in front of it. And then you got the gun on the engine, and look at these big old directions. There's one, two, six whole steps. So, and uh, let's see. First, we're going to look at his guns. So... Now this guy was supposed to be delivered in December, and then January, and then August, or then in February, and then March 21st, and finally got on March 24th. Now what's funny is because the <clears throat> they've got a Starscream one out there, and he's a shelf warmer. You can go to probably any Walmart, at least around my area, and they've got Shockwave. Just he won't sell at all. And I believe the newest ones are Thundercracker, <clears throat> and I'm not sure what else they're doing it. So, <clears throat> there is one gun, and, whoops, <clears throat> and here's the other gun, and we'll just put this to the side. Now, these guns were originally a dark gray, and now they're more whitish, and he's got two separate guns. They look completely different. Uh, you can tell all the, <clears throat> from the side to side view, the back's different, the barrel's different. Everything's different. And are they compatible? Let's see. This one is barely. Let's see if we can get a lighter one on here. Wow. Barely compatible. <clears throat> and the other one isn't. <clears throat> and uh, now let's get out Hot Rod. Now, most of the review, I'm going to be scrolling. I'm going to be showing you. All the different hot rods throughout the years. I've got, oh god, I've got a ton of them. But, let's see, first we'll just uh, cut this guy out of the package. And there you go. <clears throat> Please, I've been waiting two days so I can open this guy up. <clears throat> and he <clears throat> is definitely pink. I'm not really sure how it's coming off on the camera. 
<clears throat> but definitely pink. And he's missing a lot of stickers, the original one. Now, right off the bat, you see his engine's that same white or cream color. It's not chrome like it was on the original ones. But, and the, the smokestack or the exhaust fumes are the same color. So, and, but I wonder if it's more accurate movie-wise. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I guess they weren't really. I'll have some, what I'll do is I'll throw some pictures of stills from the movie in here. Uh, and the next thing I see is rubber tires. Nice. They don't do rubber tires anymore. Uh, and let's see. You can fit one gun in his engine. Either one. <clears throat> they uh, Back then, they weren't much for storage. <laughs> and I will say, this was one of the most detailed Transformers out there. I mean, I, I, you know, I was 11 when I started collecting Transformers when they came out in 84. And <clears throat> some of them are like like the original Rodham's Prime figure. He's just a stick. You know, the blur, they had big heads, their arms weren't much, but this guy was actually pretty pretty detailed and one of the best figures, I think. Now he was a futuristic car from 1984, what they thought 2005 would look like. And I don't think we see any cars. <clears throat> Now, besides the rubber wheels, I see the die-cast metal feet, which are pretty cool. All right, <clears throat> and uh, let's let's do some uh, let's do some comparisons with Hot Rod throughout the years. Okay, now for the fun part, we're gonna compare him to all his vehicles. First, here's my 1984. <laughs> I glued this guy. I screwed him in. Then I super glued him. He's not going to transform, but here's the 84 version. All right, next came Target Master. And the only difference was uh, the hole right here is a little bigger to allow for the Target Master. But uh, basically, it was the same design. And then we're going to bring in our Walmart reissue in pristine condition. I wish my hot rod was like that right down to the rub sticker which was pretty cool that was a fad in the 80s so um yeah you could see the uh, I, I do though like the chrome but I, the white gives it more of a uh, cartoonish look even the engine but uh let's see spoilers see how they even kept the rub outs uh, the rub out space right there but no rub out sticker but uh, still, that is the Walmart reissue. <clears throat> and then we're going to go to Generations, I believe. Now, this was a cool car right here. I mean, this was the first major uh, upgrade to Hot Rod that they ever came out with. And uh, that is nice right there. So it was a more of a realistic looking car. It was a muscle car. And that's why the exhaust is not as uh, big as here because it was more realistic. Got the flames behind there. So this was a cool car too. <clears throat> and then, uh, you know what, let's go to Titan's Return. And you know what, let's just take the gun off. Yeah. So there is the Titan's Return. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of like the... Uh, the car mode, it was a little different. It's more of a, uh, get that more of a dune bug, your Lamborghini, where it's more of a slope front. But, of course, it's got the same spoiler. So, uh, this was the Titan's Return. Again, trying to update it into today's times. And then, <clears throat> there was this with the, uh, why does this keep popping out? Uh, the uh, Power of the Primes Evolution. So actually, it wasn't that bad. I mean, considering that this guy, you take it apart. <laughs> There's the bottom of the car. There's a robot right there. But you do is you take him apart, and he becomes a torso and arms of Rodimus Prime. So that it, it wasn't a real, uh, wasn't a real bad car mode. Now I do like this kind of spoiler with the tip on it. Just the original one didn't have it. So, all right, and that's those two guys. Uh, let's see, what do we got left? 
We got Cyberverse. None of those cars look real. So there is your Cyberverse version, and they really played around with that, um, with the spoiler. <clears throat> and then you've got Studio Series 86, and this guy is just, I mean, he's a 9.5 in my book. The only thing I don't like is the back. You think they could have done something with the knees to cover it up, but I do like the pointy spoiler. And why they use yellow right there instead of red, I don't know. But still, this guy is the quintessential hot rod and um, in both car mode and vehicle modes. And you see, it's still, it's the red. <clears throat> it's a lighter red than um, it was before. But you could see how it's closer to this than this. It's kind of like in the middle. It's not dark red, but you can see it blending from here to here, and then finally to the purple. <clears throat> and once you know it, well, they're coming out with a Studio Series 86 in this color. Instead of having the Studio 86 in this color, they're coming out with the Studio 86 in the red, which I'll still wind up getting because it's I get all the hot rods and Rodman's primes. And uh, still, from what we've got, this was depicted in the movie. And this was a toy that came out. So, all in all, I do think they did a pretty good job. Considering it was 1986, I think they did a darn good job of it. And now, let's bring in all our hot rods. Oh, uh, you know what we'll do? Well, I got to keep the weapon on for the Target Master. There we go. We'll put those guys there. <clears throat> we'll put this guy here. Uh, let's see. We'll bring in Cyberverse. Um, Titans Return. Yeah, and Firebolt. There's <laughs> a little Transformer. I, I love this, though. Hot Rod's little head. That is so cool. Uh, let me get this guy back in. There we go. <clears throat> we got Power of the Primes. And then we got Studio Series. And we got this guy. So let's pull back a little. Can we get them all in? One, two. There's all our hot rods. All right, guys, let's burn rubber and get over here. And there is all our hot rods. And we'll put this guy in the end. Pull back a little further, whoo. Yeah, so that is, we'll put this guy here. We'll, the first and the last, there we go. How's that for a group shot, huh? And that is all your hot rod figures. Whoop, there we go. Now, <clears throat> also something I noticed before we transform them, they did do a little redesign these. This clicks in. Well, I know, I think the, the wing, when you fold this over, it clips in. And this, here, I'll do it right now. I already shot the video of him transforming. See? This locks in, which is pretty cool. So, I mean, it's not a complete remake of the old one, because the old one never clicked in. But that one does click in. And uh, there you go. And yes, there is a Target box over here. Even though this guy came from Walmart, I just got the new Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origins Jazz. So I'm very excited. It's been a fun two days. I got Jazz first, and then I got um, then I got Hot Rod. Actually, I, no, I bought Jazz in the store. This is just a Target box I had from probably something else. But anyway, back to Hot Rod. And so that is the Hot Rod family. So we went from basically this guy to this guy. So I do like the less stickers and the more comic cartoon accurate color. And I really do hope the pink shows up on the, uh, on the camera. But all in all, even the back looks pretty good. So I had no problems with this guy at all. 
So, all right, now we're gonna get to transforming this guy and let's finish up our review. Now, to transform this guy, it was pr pretty basic. Take the feet and you fold them down and they're supposed to click in and then you pull up the metal toes. I hope mine lock in. And then up here, you take the arm, you swivel to the side and rotate at the elbow. Swivel to the side, rotate at the elbow. Now that right there is more articulation than most of the figures in the early days. Uh, turn that sideways and now here's where you get creative. What you want to do is pull this whole thing up, you flip this around, and it clicks in. Now you take this little, oh wow, I already got, I just, this is the first time I'm transforming this guy, and he's got some um, scratches on it, or uh, stress marks. But anyway, and then we can do a slide that tab in here, like that. I'll actually show you, in the old days, some people thought what you did was you transformed him like this <clears throat> where it was behind the thing but that's not accurate <clears throat> the instructions have you do it in front <clears throat> snaps in you snap that in and then last you take this <clears throat> you rotate this bad boy around and that <clears throat> is hot rod I mean and and you look proportion wise he is just like I said you compare it to some of the other figures of the era and this guy is hands and down one of the best <clears throat> and he comes with two guns even though he only used one in the movie but <clears throat> there is hot rod <clears throat> now how does he compare to the original well actually let's go over him real quick <clears throat> You got the blue eyes, and you got the paint. Now what's also new is right here, you really can't make it out, but they painted this silver, and the other one, it was not painted at all. You've got the Autobot Flame, which is more movie accurate, because I'll show you what the other toy one looked completely different. You got the pink, it's, it's like, I don't know, magenta, it's like more of a, a, not a pink, but in between pink and red. You got the different color um, waist, you got the orange legs. Now this is one, see how the, they painted the top of this orange to make it more realistic, like the whole leg goes down to the knee. There's no knee articulation, and there's missing stickers, but we'll show you against the original one. Feet. The back wasn't too bad. Yeah, he's a lot flat, but... And the engine's on the back of his head. All in all, though, this figure was perfect in its proportions. Now... Now, we're going to put this guy over here, and I think first, I'm going to bring out my Hard Hero Transformer busts. So, now these are based off the movie or TV show. Now, let's look how accurate they got this guy. Now, using the existing G1 mold, you have the yellow-orange and the pink arms. Yellow-orange-pink arms, very good. They uh, molded this and painted it gray, very good. The flames, you got one, two, three flames, one, two, three flames, very good. Orange right here, orange right here. Uh, pink neck, the pink neck, he doesn't really have a, a neck per se. Uh, let's see, even the waist, you got the, like, kind of like the, uh, not square, but octagon shape there, or the trapezoid there, you got it here. So the waist is good, and then and these are supposed to be orange, but that's where the bus stopped. And then you've got, well, the wheel is sideways on this, but you got the chrome thing, so pretty cool. And then you got the spoiler. <clears throat> and so that is off of the <clears throat> G1 bust. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to bring my original Hot Rod figure. <clears throat> Now, this is my original Hot Rod figure. Um, at one point, I actually screwed this in, but now I super glued it. You can see the super glue. So, this guy does not transform anymore. He is, uh, <clears throat> what do you expect? He's 
30 something years old. <clears throat> Almost 40 years old actually next year. I know. Yeah, it came out well, it came out in 86, so. And <clears throat> let's see the difference. Obviously, you can see the difference in the red. Off the bat, the red is a different color. Okay, now look at the face. All right. Um, the little thing on the head's not painted like this guy is. This guy's neck is orange, and this guy, I, yeah, I glued him the wrong way, but it's red. Notice the flames got like one, two, three, four, five on each side of the flame. <clears throat> and then you have these silly stickers in the arms, the silly sticker on the waist, the stickers on the legs, which every time you close the legs, you ruined it. Now going down to the feet, see how they painted the orange, so an extension of the leg to the knee, which was pretty cool. And instead of red with stickers, they are now gray. And the feet are silver. These feet were black. <clears throat> and uh, and they even kept a, a place for the, the, the rub sticker, but they didn't give you a rub sticker on it. <clears throat> but everything else is the same. But, I mean, look at the difference. I hope the difference in color is coming off on screen. <clears throat> because <clears throat> it is a big difference. <clears throat> and... Like I said, this thing is old, but let, let's put this guy back. Now we're going to bring in the next oldest one. This is my Transformers Target Master with Firebolt. Again, he's very similar to the original one, but the sticker is a little different. The knee stickers... Um, that's about it. And they painted this guy orange here, which I never noticed. So that is difference. <clears throat> this guy is a Target Master. I think he's a, a, a reissue, or I'm not sure if he's the original. Tar um, let's see, is the original one? I don't know. I got him off eBay. So <clears throat> even from the Target Master, the original one, it's different. And I know the engine hole is a little bigger to fit the Target Master Firebolt. So now we've got three different hot rods. They went from here, um, <clears throat> changed the stickers on the legs, changed the sticker on the crotch piece, painted this orange. That is weird. And, uh, and then Walmart had a reissue a couple years ago. I bought like two of them, one's in the box. Now, this is the Walmart reissue. So, the Walmart reissue differs from the, from the Target Master. They went back to the original sticker on the thigh, and this piece is now painted red again. So, you've got original 1984, you've got the Target Master, and then... <clears throat> Years ago, Walmart reissued Hot Rod, and this is the new Walmart reissue. Now, again, the waist is different. I think I, this guy's got less stickers, but he's more accurate to what he was in the movie. And I don't mind that. I mean, stickers are nice, but why put stickers on the thighs? I never understood that. And they went to the original flame, and this flame was way too much. And I can't believe I never noticed that is orange. That is different. Hmm. <clears throat> Whoops. So you got four completely different hot rods. The original with the red and then the Target Master with the orange and different stickers. Then you went back to the original. Well, I guess these two are the same then. And then the new one. <clears throat> I think we're just going to do two, these two for now. We're going to concentrate on this mold <clears throat> first, and we're going to do uh, other hot rods throughout the years next, or later on in the video, because I've got a lot of hot rods. And I'm <clears throat> not including any hot rod from the Bayverse movies or Rodimus Prime. This video is just going to be on hot rod. Now, let's look at the reissue gun versus the new gun. It looks like the same mold. Now, I do have the original. I can't believe I have the original. Um, oh, it's the other gun. 
we'll have to, uh, let's see, we'll show you this one then. Let's compare this gun. <clears throat> there's my original, there's the reissue, and then here's the new one. So, original, let's keep these all together. That is my original gun. Oh no, this is the reissue. Huh. Can't get them confused. All right, whoops. And that is the Walmart reissue from a, a few years back. <clears throat> and now we have the new one. So, <clears throat> let's compare the Walmart reissue with the original. <clears throat> now these are die cast feet. And these are plastic. So, the reissue came out with, with uh, the feet. And they all have rubber tires, which is nice. <clears throat> so, let's just take a look at these three. So, um, I don't see much difference. I mean, yeah, this guy held up. I wish he was in better shape. So, I went out and got a new one. So, this is these two guys. <clears throat> now, how does this guy <clears throat> compare with Studio Series? So, the color is still a little off. But, <clears throat> I can see they didn't want to go full pink on the studio series so the color is different uh, <clears throat> let's bring in this guy now <clears throat> the red obviously this is a darker shade of red than this and then this is eventually going to turn into this <clears throat> so what did <clears throat> the studios series the studio series do of course it's got the orange on the arm it doesn't have the yellow though You've got the silver hat that head, the face is a better sculpt, and notice the knees, the orange goes down to the feet, and they kept the, this is kind of like purple, but they kept the weird, it's a shade of, oh, it's an off shade of purple. So, <clears throat> the feet are the same, the legs, so, he goes from <clears throat> this, <clears throat> to this, to that. So, and I think, uh, oh, actually, you know what, we'll, we'll do it this way. So we'll go from 84, or 86, came out in 86. So his color started changing, and then he got thinner, his face got smaller, and he got more articulation. <clears throat> and that red's a lot lighter red, so you got from red to that to this. So these two guys look pretty good together. Now let's take this guy and put him over here. <clears throat> And uh, let's compare these two. Again, we'll start from the feet. We'll go up at the purple feet, the orange thighs, the waist. Yeah, one, two, three. Their flames are very, very similar. This is all one piece. It's the orange. So this is orange. Now, they did... One thing I noticed, though, I guess this could have been purple on the original one right there could have been purple around the neck <clears throat> but uh i like how this is more pronounced you got that gap right there uh his tires are more accurate to the side instead of in the back instead of on the side but all in all i mean it's just where else i never thought as a kid i would get this figure and they would recall this guy to I mean, this is like, if I got this guy in 84, I was an 86, I'd be a happy kid. I mean, my life would be like the highlight of my life. Hot rod. <clears throat> and, uh, <clears throat> pretty cool. So, <clears throat> now that, let's just put those guys to the, oops. Sorry, wrong figure. <laughs> now let's put these guys to the side and let's bring in some other ones. All right. <clears throat> Cyberverse Hot Rod. Yeah, I know. More geared toward the little kids. All red and then yellow. You get the flames. You can still see the spoiler, kind of. You get. You knew this was Hot Rod, though. <clears throat> uh, Titans Return Hot Rod, where Firebolt was his head. Uh, again, I mean, this guy's proportions are all off. His arms are so long and lanky. But looking at the figure... <clears throat> This is one, this is like, when I got this, I was like, oh wow, they redid Hot Rod for the first time in years since the Target Master. 
So you can see the red arms, yeah, they got the gray there. I mean, his, he's got a lot of problems, but he's still a hot rod figure. <clears throat> um, this was actually, this actually came out before the Titans turn. This is, I think, is Generations Hot Rod, and he was a pretty damn good figure too. Now they did make an extension where you can buy it. This guy turns into Rodham's Prime, but this guy I believe was the first attempt at modernizing Hot Rod. After the movie came out. Now this came out in the 90s or early 2000s. I don't remember when. I mean I've been collecting Hot Rod for years. <clears throat> and then a few years back. We had the Power of the Primes Evolution. Where it was a neat gimmick. First it was Hot Rod. And then when you'd combine Hot Rod with the back. To form Rodimus Prime. And this guy was made it. This guy made the upper torso and the arms of Rodimus. Still um. They try to keep the, again, they got too many flames on the chest, but you got the red arms, you got the yellow up here. Is he perfect? Far from it. But it was cool how you had a hot rod figure, and then you combine this trailer to form the Rodimus Prime figure. So that was pretty cool. <clears throat> so <clears throat> those are all the robot to robot comparisons I had. I, it's not like my normal review. Normal review I do with the figure as is, as he comes packaged. I always start as they come packaged. This guy was packed as a vehicle, so we did the vehicle first. Then we went through the comparisons in vehicle mode. And then I guess I did all the robot comparisons as I went along. And um, <clears throat> we're going to bring out, let's bring out in order. So, 86 dude, right back here. <clears throat> 86. Then the Target Master came out. <clears throat> then the, um, then I believe <clears throat> this guy came out, Generations. <clears throat> and then Walmart reissue. <clears throat> and then we got figures like the Cyberverse. Uh, let's see. We're going to do all the Hot Rod family. Now, I, I got plenty of Rodimus Prime figures, but... Um, <clears throat> Cyberverse. Titans Return. Whoa. And then Power of the Prime. Woo! And then Studio Series 86. And we'll just lump these two guys together. <laughs> That are most of my hot rod figures of the original design, the orange and red. And hot rod has always been my favorite figure <clears throat> ever since I first saw Transformers the movie back to the movie theaters. <clears throat> A quick fun note too. I could watch Transformers the movie. You can shut the sound off and I will re recite every single line <laughs> Of the movie as it's happening. I've done it before. I've seen that movie a zillion times. And I never get sick of it. And if Hasbro wanted to do something for their fans. <clears throat> they would either redo the movie with today's standards. Or do a live action version of Transformers the movie. That is what we want to see. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't know what else to say. I mean, this... I mean, just little things that Hasbro did. Uh, we'll do this guy. I mean, just like the paint apps. <coughs> you know, you paint... Whoops. You paint a little around so it looks like the leg goes down. Little things like that. Um, the little orange and yellow on the hand. The accurate flame. Uh, the face... It's just, it's little things. You don't need to put all these fancy stickers on them and just gum them all up. Because look at all these stickers. I mean, they look silly. Who's going to have, like, circuitry on their thighs? You know? This proves that you don't need, as long as you do, you took a 1984 mold. You threw a little paint to make it more streamlined, to make it more realistic. And this is what you wind up with. And he's pretty cool. Oh, and articulation. Arms <laughs> go 90 degrees. They move out. And that was it. <laughs> so, 
So articulation was pretty limited back then. But like I said, this guy, you look at some of those old figures like Blur, um, even Optimus is kind of squarish. And you look at like Broadside, <laughs> Rodimus Prime, they were, the cars were just, the. T I mean, this guy was one of the better molds that came out in the first, I think, three or four years of Transformers. And actually, let's put him with our Firebolt Target Master. All right, so we're gonna take this gun, uh, transform. There you go, and he does fit pretty cool. All right, so I don't know what else to say. Uh, this is a dream come true for me. I've got a comic accurate uh, heart rot on well, comic movie accurate because he did change him when the show started. But as far as the movie, this is the most movie accurate hot rod you will see in the G1 mold. I mean, this guy is near flawless. I mean, they just, they knocked it out of the park with the Studio Series. Now, notice how the same, this guy's actually a little smaller, but the detail, I mean, the transformation, these two guys are night and day. But, <clears throat> slap a little pink paint, get rid of some stickers. Add a few paint here to break up the knee, a little there in the head, and I think Walmart did a good job. And I know, like, Starscream's not going to be much. Thundercracker's not going to be much different. I know they're saying they're more accurate. I don't know how. Well, they just not put stickers on them, you know? I don't know how um, accurate <clears throat> they're supposed to be, but, I mean, this guy was different. You change the color, and that's you change the figure. I uh, couldn't hide the screw holes, but hey, and, and die cast, they don't have die cast parts anymore, no one does, like I said, this guy was supposed to be here in December, and then he was supposed to be here in January, then February, then March, and finally, uh, they, Walmart.com shipped him out, and if you want to get the Starscream one, he's a shelf warmer, at least in all the Walmarts around here, he's, he's warming those shelves up, so... All right, let's see. If you're going to ride Dino, ride in style, um, Autobots, transform and roll out. What else can I say? Till all are one, till all are one. Let's ride in style. Hot Rod, Rodimus Bill out. <laughs>